Wow, look at this thing. It is a brand new 400 disc Blu-ray player in the box. It's gonna allow you to load up 400 Blu-rays in it and play each of them one at a time. And you could even load CDs or DVDs into it. This thing is pretty amazing. It is ultra rare and we're gonna take it out of the box right now. This is everything that you'll get in the box. It's gonna be a remote control, your manual, batteries for the remote, an audio video cable, and then the unit itself. It comes with a standard composite cable, which is kind of weird to me. Must have been because it's older, but we'll throw in an HDMI cable if you get this one, because that's, that's how you should be using it. On the front panel of it, you've got a power button right here. You got your rental slot option. That way, if you're just renting a movie, you can just slide it in there and get it back out quickly. And you've got the disc load option. And then open and close for opening the door, disc eject, play, pause, stop. And you got this cool knob for changing the disc or skipping to the next chapter. And you got plus 100 disk change and direct search. If you push a disk change, it's gonna toggle between the skipping forward and disk skip options with this knob. And then as you can see, it's still got this blue tape on it from the manufacturer. Let's go ahead and take that off for right now. Then I'll go ahead and plug it in so that we can take a look at what the display looks like. I'm gonna put in a Blu-ray disk. And if you just push play, it will automatically load the disc. So right here on the front, it shows you the disc type you have in there. We have a Blu-ray disc, so it says that. And then it shows you what title you're on, shows you that it's playing, and then it shows you if you have the direct search or disc change option on right here. And then it shows you the disc number, and then the hours, minutes, and seconds left in the disc or chapter. This thing really is the ultimate theater system Blu-ray player because at any moment you could change to a different movie or change to a TV show that you might have in there or you could even start listening to music at any moment if you wanted to. On the rear panel of it, you've got your ethernet or LAN connection for connecting to internet. Then you've got HDMI output, that's gonna be your best option available. And then you've got optical and coaxial digital audio. You've got audio output, video output, that's gonna be just for composite. And then you've got component video output, which would be almost as good as HDMI, but that is just gonna be for video. And then you do also have a USB connection right here for extra things. And then this is Java powered is manufactured in May of 2011 and the model number on it is BDP-CX960 and is made in Malaysia. Let's go ahead and connect it to our TV so that we can take a look at all the menus. You can use the red, white, and yellow cable but I went and got an HDMI so we're going to use that instead. So let's go ahead and put batteries in our remote control. I went and got some other batteries so that we don't have to open the original Sony ones. And then now, so we've got the menu up on the TV. Let's go ahead and see what options we have. So this is gonna be our remote. And then we've also got this section down here. So we've got all of our videos right here. And then all of our music would be loaded in here if we had any CDs loaded. Photos, if we had any photo CDs. And then we've got all of our setup options. So we've got network update. Um, if we were connected to the internet, we would be able to update. 
And then we've got video settings. If we go in there, we can change the screen aspect. And then you've got some other options that you probably won't need to use. And you've got your audio settings. So right there you can set the priority for the audio output. Then you can change the audio DRC between auto, standard, TV mode, and wide range. So that's going to change the sound effects when you're playing a Blu-ray or a DVD. Then you've got other viewing settings like subtitles, parental control. And if you're viewing photos, you can adjust the slideshow speed. You've got on-screen display, you can set the language, you can dim the brightness of the display window. Then you do have the option to turn on quick start mode if you want to. You've got auto shut off after 30 minutes of non-use if you want to turn that on. So you've got a screen saver if you want to prevent your TV screen from getting light, getting like certain colors burnt in. If your if your off screen is like a bright blue, it might damage your TV. And then you've got the child lock that will turn off all the buttons on the unit right here. And then you've got your network settings, easy setup. So let's go ahead and take a look at the easy setup. We've got English, and we are connecting it with HDMI. We can do auto. And this does go up to 1080p, as you can see, that's gonna be the best picture quality you can get. And then an internet connection may be required for Blu-ray disc playback. Allow internet connections based on Blu-ray contents, allow. And yeah, we wanna leave this off that'll be fine now easy setup is complete and then if you're on the disc you can push the options button on the remote and you can change some of the settings you could group content or you can sort by the title name slot number or release here and when you connect it to the internet, it's gonna auto-populate all that stuff. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I've got the ethernet cable connected to my wireless connector. So let's go ahead and do the network settings. All right, so there's obviously a new software update available because this is brand new and it's also 10 years old. So let's go ahead and update it. So the update has completed. Now we can turn the device back on. We've got it updated and now we can do a few more things. Let's take a look. So I went ahead and selected loaded all disks. And if you have 400 disks in there, it's gonna take quite a while to load all of them. But what it's doing right now is it's gonna load each one individually and figure out if it can get the jacket art from the internet or if it can get any like release year or 
a description of the movie, the actors of it, it's going to put them in there. So it's probably going to do it just fine with the one disc that we have in there. So as you can see, it loaded up the disc. It's got the jacket art right there in the picture. It shows slot one and then it's a PG rated movie. It was created by Chris and Russell Brown, Russell Brand Films in it. And it is a animation and also right here it says it was released in 2010. So that was everything that you need to know about this very one of a kind and rare Sony 400 disc Blu-ray player. This thing is absolutely spectacular. It's gonna top off any entertainment center. You just have to make sure it fits in there. But if you're looking to get one of these, make sure you get it from us and you can order online with the link below or you can give us a call to order. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.